Hi, I'm Tracy Anderson Haig. I'm a clinical pharmacy specialist in kidney transplantation. I work at Hennepin County Medical Center in downtown Minneapolis, and this is a day in the life of a pharmacist. So when people ask me about my job as a pharmacist, they often assume that I work in a community pharmacy and are shocked to find out that I actually work in a medical clinic with a scheduled appointment seeing patients directly like a physician would. I take care of patients anywhere from 18 years of age to over 80 years of age, starting from the time they get their transplant, sometimes even before, and I'll be primarily caring for that patient. It is extremely rewarding to be able to work with patients and see a difference that you're able to make to ensure that their medications are used properly. Be able to find a medication that's causing an adverse effect, suggest an alternative medication that may work as well without the same side effect, and have that patient come back a month later with the problem resolved and the medication effectively treating whatever condition it was there for. And the patient actually recognizing that it was you, the pharmacist, who made a difference and improved their quality of life. Because I work in transplantation and transplants can occur at any time of day or night, I'm functionally on call 24 hours a day and 7 days a week. Sounds daunting, but it's very rewarding to know that I'm an integral member of the team and able to help out when they need assistance with medication management of these patients. One of my favorite patient experiences was a patient that I'd seen in clinic for the first three or four years after her transplant. And I always chuckled when she came in because on her drug allergies it listed blue M&Ms. She was doing very well after transplant but then was admitted to the hospital three different occasions in a short period of time with nausea, abdominal pain, kind of nonspecific complaints. And then I remembered the blue M&M issue and thought maybe this is a problem with blue dye. So I went to the hospital and asked her what her symptoms were when she ate blue M&Ms and she said they were sort of similar to what she was experiencing now but she hadn't had any blue M&Ms recently so that couldn't be the case. I then called her retail pharmacy and sure enough there was Lake Blue number one and number two in that pill. So we worked with her local pharmacy and got rid of all medications that she was on that contained blue dye. And about a month later, I got Paige to come to clinic and it was the patient. She said, I just had to give you a hug. I eliminated blue dye completely from my medications and my diet and I feel like a completely different person. That's why I'm a pharmacist, is to hear responses like that from a patient and know that I've made that kind of difference and impact on something that seemed like a very small, long shot intervention that was life changing for my patient. <laughs>